Chapter 14, I've entitled The Eternal Now. And so Dr. Holmes says, There is no law of human heredity imposed upon you. Evil has no history. Limitation has no past. That which is opposed to good has no future. The eternal now is forever filled with the presence of perfect life. You always have been and forever will remain a complete and perfect expression of the eternal mind, which is God, the living spirit almighty. So this chapter kind of speaks to that understanding that principle is not bound by precedent. And what that means is that our experiences of today, our choice of today, our ability to co-create today with the power and presence that maintains this universe is not bound by any limitation of the past. And it's not bound to any anxiety or fear of the future, but it is the eternal now. This present moment is kind of the only moment we have to work with the only moldable moment that we have to participate. And it's not bound by anything that we've done in the past. It is not bound by anything in the future, but instead it is alive, breathing, moving, evolving in this present moment. So we have the ability without any confines from the past or for the future, we have the ability right now to create in this moment because we are the individualized expressions of this one presence right now, living, moving, breathing, interacting as this presence here in this earthly realm. So now we have the power, the eternal now, this very moment to create a life that we are so excited to live and to create the experiences and in essence to create a world that is the reflection of those qualities we know to be true about ourselves, about each other, and about the presence that holds this universe.